we've decided that we uh, we basically want to separate out separate out animal nutrition and health to secure the future. You know that uh, we we have addressed the vitamin issue already early last year with uh, with good results already ongoing with uh, with 10 million savings in uh, in in quarter four with about 100 million for next year. But I mean, we have accelerated the uh, strategic review under the current market circumstances, certainly with vitamins ongoing. And uh, and that had uh, a sort of an outcome with a belief that we feel that A&H is best served in a, in a separate new ownership structure. Um, the volatility is slightly higher than what we have on, on the consumer human part of our business, as well as uh, the value chain is expecting a little more on, 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 on the network, on sites and premix, which is a little bit more capital intense. And to make sure that we have a huge, good, good growth future for animal nutrition and health, uh, we've, uh, we basically believe that um, under a new ownership structure in a separating out, this is best secured to create sustainable farming for the future. Uh, I hear you, Dimitri, but what about all those amazing arguments I've heard from you in the past, from FICA over the many years as well, about the benefits of having an integrated group as well? I, I can see the, the consultants knocking at your door saying, oh, some of the parts, Dimitri, some of the parts. But the fact of the matter is you had a good integrated business for many years. Why break it if it's not broken? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, you've seen that the volatility in vitamins have always been there. Our strategy always has been to reduce the vitamin exposure to our business. Remember, uh, we had 45% 10 years ago. We reduced that to 25 With the merger, we reduced that to 15%. So we always were aware of the volatility of the vitamins. Uh, with this separating out, um, we will bring that to 7 8%. Uh, and we have a target to, to reduce that further to the only high end of the, of the vitamin space. And therefore, also securing sustainable farming for the future. I think there is a fantastic growth part for animal nutrition and health, but in a in a different new ownership structure. Um, so, just just to confirm. So again, I'm, I know I'm going into the weeds a bit on this one. We'll get onto the numbers in a moment. But Dimitri, which part of the business will you be with? I uh, certainly stay with DSM Feminish, so the really consumer ingredient human space company. Ivo Landsbergen, who is currently heading the animal nutrition and health unit. He will be the CEO of the animal nutrition and health part. Um, this is a process which takes a year, one and a half year. We said that um, we need to prepare separation, also follow the right procedures and discussions. Uh, we expect the separating out somewhere around uh, 2025, throughout 2025.